What's up WordPress nerds? In this video, I'm gonna be going over sanitization of data before it is placed in the database. This is something that's um, very important for when you're handling data that's coming from either an API or a user. So we're gonna be going over a couple of functions that WordPress gives you that helps you sanitize that data before you put it in the database. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to make sure you get notified of my weekly WordPress videos. All right, let's jump into it. All right. So what I have here is I have a form uh, that needs to have its data sanitized before we put it in the database. And so sanitization is very different than validation. It means two different things. Um, validation is kind of making sure that it fits a set of criteria, like your email address needs to have an at sign and a dot and all this kind of stuff. And um, that your username must be at least eight characters or that your favorite food has to be, you know, chicken wings or something like that. It, it's setting up parameters that mean that the data is valid. Whereas sanitization is what we're going to be talking about. And sanitizing your data is removing anything out, out of it that is, um, is, is incorrect. So validation, you're just checking it. Does this work? Is this something that is valid? Where sanitization and sanitizing data is removing anything that we don't want out from that piece of data. So um, we just have a simple form here and there's gonna be a couple of little functions I'm gonna walk you through that uh, sh you should find here pretty helpful. Um, and then hopefully at the end of all this, you now have a couple additional tools on your tool belt when you're working with WordPress. So. We have a username, email, title, favorite food, and message. And we're just kind of pretending here that this is just um, a submission form for an author or something like that. And they're going to um, create to give us the, the title of the of the post that they plan on on creating some information about themselves and a nice little message from them. Um, and since this is a public form, we're going to have to sanitize this data and make sure that there's nothing malicious in it before we store it in our database. So let's go over to our code. And if you didn't watch my last video, this is all the code that we used in my last video. Um, there's a link to this starting point down in the description, and there is a link to the video, the previous video up above right now. Um, so we're not going to be, you know, diving into what we previously did, but, um, if you've ever worked with a WordPress form before and you'll kind of start, you'll recognize what we're doing here. Um, so what we have is just all of the data coming in from the post array and we are just sending it back to the front end, um, as you know, JSON, uh, and it's just sending back the post data as it came in. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to do kind of a side by side comparison between the data that we get versus the data that has become sanitized. Um, so let's just create a data variable that's an empty array. And then when we send back our JSON, let's just create an array out of it and make the second parameter um, data. So we're going to now sanitize, um, not sanitize, sanitize our data. So the first thing that we're going to sanitize is the username. So we're going to say that the username, goodness, if I could type today, username is equal to the post array with the key of username. And so this is just going to take the raw input and place it in our data array. So what we need to do is we need to sanitize this. And the way that you do that is there is all sorts of sanitized functions. Like as you can kind of see, my autocomplete has a ton of different sanitization methods. And we're only going to be touching a couple, but there are some, you know, really helpful ones like sanitize category and all that kind of stuff. Sanitize uh, meta option post field SQL order by, and we're going to be actually touching on some of these sanitize URL. But what we're going to be doing is sanitize Sanit sanitize uh, user. 
And so it sanitizes a username by stripping out unsafe characters. So let's take a look at what this would do. So if we go back to our um, page here, open up our console so we can kind of see what it pumps out, but our username is going to um, just be oh, a bunch of leading spaces and then like an H2, and then we can start to say howdy. Like this is stuff obviously we don't want in uh, as a username. So let's click send and get a JSON response back. Remember that the first item in the array um, that we get back is what the raw input was, and this is um, or the and is the raw output, um, and then data is the the cleaned up version. And so that would be the second. So. The first one that comes through is we can see right here that it has the original howdy with the h2 and all that and then the username that was cleaned up now just has howdy without any sort of h2 and there were no leading spaces right here so very good um, that is a much uh, more sane uh, piece of data so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, go through the rest of these and uh, just kind of walk through it step by step here. So the next one that we have is uh, the email. So let's take, just duplicate that line and write email in those two places. And it's gonna be the same kind of thing here, uh, email. So the email will then be sanitized according to what an email would um, be allowed to have. So whereas, a username might not be able to have at symbols or something like that, an email would. And so WordPress gives us two different functions to handle that. Let's do the next one here. So we have title. And so title is another uh, thing that you might want to handle slightly differently because WordPress sees um, sanitizing titles and we just do sanitize title all the way across. Um, as when you're using this, it's expecting you to be using the output of this as the slug or the URL um, URL slug for that post. And so what we're gonna see is um, a very heavily restricted and cleaned up version of the title that we input. And then after that, let's see what we have next. Favorite food. Um, this one, we can just do something like sanitize text field. And this is going to be favorite food. And sanitize text field is probably going to be the one that you use the most because it's just a very generic, please don't put um, any sort of like HTML tags or non UTF characters inside of here. Like these are things that um, it's a very much of a catch all function here. So it's one you're going to be seeing a lot of and then same with uh, message and i'm doing this mostly just to illustrate that it doesn't necessarily have to be a text field per se like it can be a text area like it's going to just apply a set of rules to a string of characters like it doesn't that doesn't have to match up um, and so let's take a look at how this might um, potentially look so um, let's just do a bunch of you know spaces here we can do uh, admin at, you know, exclamation marks, test.com. Um, this is a good title, just with some characters that wouldn't be allowed in a slug. Uh, favorite food is something fine. And then the script tag that is very nasty. And let's just say yo. And then we can open up our console and then hit send. Oh, it's not going to let me do this because our browsers are kind of smart. So let's just hit send now. Let's let flywheel kind of spin back up and then look at our data response. So a couple things that are worth noting. Let's take a look at what originally came through. So an unsanitized uh, form submission has uh, 
quite a few things in it that are wrong. The email actually came across fine, and I actually found this surprising when I did a dry run of this before the video, is that it'll actually strip that out automatically. Didn't think that was gonna happen. Um, something fine obviously came fine because it was a text field, there was nothing crazy inside of there. Uh, message just came uh, back with just some escaped quotes, um, but everything else came back normal and it came back with stuff that we did not want in there. The knots came through, we don't need to pay attention to that. The title came back with characters that we didn't want in it and the username came back with some nasty characters in it too. So definitely can be cleaned up. So after that, this is what our uh, sanitized data looks like. Our admin at text.com obviously came through fine. Something fine came through fine. Uh, message came back blank and it would be expected that it come back blank is because that kind of stuff should not be allowed through. And so sanitized text field got rid of that for us. Um, our title that came through like this has now been sanitized and slugified. So it got rid of the pound signs and it put a dash between every space. So this is now a sanitized title that can be put into a URL. And then the username was stripped down to simply say howdy. So it removed the, the HTML characters on either end, removed the white space, uh, the leading white space, and now is much better to work with. So again, this is data sanitization, not validation, and it is very important to do before you start throwing stuff into your database. I can't stress that enough. Um, so there is a link in the description as well that is a link to the documentation of all the different methods that WordPress gives you. Um, kind of like we saw in my autocomplete, there's a lot and there's a lot more that we can go into. So if you want me to go over some more, dive deeper, like sanitize meta would be a really good one that I'd like to share with you guys because with you guys because you kind of do both at the same time um, of validating and sanitizing it. It gives you um, essentially a filter that you can use to uh, run a bunch of stuff on and, and, and create um, your own filter for it. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys learned something. I uh, heavily stress that you give uh, sanitization a deep dive and learn all the different things that you would be protecting yourself from just by throwing a couple of these functions in there. So I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you to all of my patrons that have been uh, supporting me. Um, all of their names are listed right here above. I can't do it without you guys. And it really means a lot when you guys sign up for uh, Patreon. Once we hit our goal, I'm going to be posting additional videos to uh, Patreon uh, as well. So there are gonna be special videos that are for patrons only at that place. But anyway, I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.